And while we prepare for the possibility of snow, animal advocates are making a big push to educate pet owners about leaving their animals outside. WRTV's Kara Kenny spent the day with Friends of Indianapolis Dogs Outside to find out why they are focusing on eight specific areas of the city. Indianapolis ordinance says when the weather hits below 40 degrees, dogs that stay outside have to have a shelter that's big enough for them to stand up and turn around in, has a flexible cover, and also has insulation. Fido says straw is the best kind because it doesn't hold any moisture. Volunteers with Friends of Indianapolis Dogs Outside are loading up and heading out onto the streets. We're going out now, really, because we know the weather is going to start getting miserably cold. They're focusing on eight hot spots. The dark areas of this map, like the east side, are neighborhoods where the city gets the most animal control calls and violations. Chelsea Fargo saw it firsthand when she worked for Indianapolis Animal Care Services. Usually it was on the, you know, the lower income sides of um, the city. You would see the dogs chained up outside. Um, all the animals were usually unaltered most of the time. Most of the time they mean well and they love their pets, um, just like family, but they just need help. Their first stop is a family that keeps their dog outside. After making sure the dog has proper shelter, Fido offers to spay their pet for free. Helping you get her spayed, is that something you guys wanted help with and vaccinated? It would be free. And gives them pamphlets with more information. We let people know we're here to help. Um, we want to help you keep your dog in the home. You know, we, we don't we don't want the dogs to end up at the shelter, but we just want the dogs to have, you know, a good quality of life. Their next stop is a German Shepherd chained up outside. Fido was concerned because the dog appears thin and they suspect the chain may be too short and the dog house is on the small side. They go knock on the door, but no one answers, so they make a note to come back. Although Fido cannot write citations, they can pass cases on to the city if they're not seeing any improvement. If it's to the point where the conditions are really poor, the animal is suffering, and, and the people are not willing to make improvements, that's when animal care services can step in. The animal care and treatment ordinance requires you to bring your animal inside when the temperature hits 20 degrees or below. Life-threatening temperatures, especially for short-haired dogs. Fido also provides dog houses and insulation to those in need. As frigid weather approaches, they hope their efforts will save the lives of many furry friends. Working for you, Kara Kenny, WRTV. If you think an animal is suffering or in danger, you can call the Mayor's Action Center. If it's a night or weekend, call the IMPD non-emergency line. And if you can also contact Fido directly for help.